Hey crazy crew, Ooh. hey crazy crew, welcome back to another full day of eating. You best believe that in this one I've got the most exciting nut butter taste test coming up, in my opinion. Um, apart from that, I bloody hate intros, I never know what to say, so let's make a peanut butter smoothie. Alright, as with any smoothie, <laughs> any recipe I make these days at all, starting off with a quarter of a cup of creamy hemp seeds. Okay, now be very careful. I'm just gonna add a quarter of a teaspoon of peanut butter. <gasps> you thought. All right, I'm adding in a couple of big spoons of crunchy peanut butter. This one does have a little bit of salt added, but no added sugar. Yeah. A little bit of peanut butter powder, just for extra peanut butteriness. Some ice. Just to make this extra creamy, I've got a couple of cups of unsweetened soy milk. Actually, I'm going to top it up with a little bit of water. And I'm adding in a couple of stevia drops, just to sweeten it. And blend it up. I don't know why, but the pulse never fails to entertain me. This is like one of those thick peanut butter malts you get. Mmm. I'm basically like lying down with my feet up on a chair. Anyways, um, I think I'm a bit of a genius for creating this. It tastes like a thick peanut butter malt. You know like the junky ones you get in like American fast food diners? You're probably thinking, okay, Miles, but where are the bananas? Freely bloody ate them all. So just to recap, in this smoothie, which, by the way, is incredibly creamy and sweet, because I had stevia drops, we have got, I put a few spoons, big spoons of peanut butter, um, a quarter of a cup of hemp seeds, of course, get those omega-3s in, it makes it nice and creamy. Every smoothie I put hemp seeds in. Then just soy milk, ice, tiny bit of peanut butter powder, just for a little bit of extra peanut butteriness and then the white chocolate stevia drops which I will admit I put too much in I always do every time every time I make it I'm like okay that's enough and then no Miles has to put two more drops in because anyways mm. yeah I've just been loving creamy high protein high fat smoothies in the morning and I know that fruit smoothies are like the most refreshing thing but when you make it like this and you put a lot of ice in and it's cold it's just Mm. And it keeps you full up for hours, trust me. Yeah, so this video is also a collab with my girl Amanda, as in the Apples one. Um, she's an incredible friend of mine. I think we both bonded so closely because we're both nutrition and science geeks. Total dorks. Um, I know that I'm a bit of a walking medical dictionary. But she actually puts me to shame with her knowledge. You guys know I'm a very harsh critic. Like, if I say that someone knows their stuff, they really know their stuff. And I would only promote that you watch someone if I believe that you can, your life will benefit from the information they're giving and their knowledge and what they're sharing with you. Um, yeah, she's a registered dietitian in the States. She knows her stuff more than I know my stuff. We're both just totally in love with eating higher fat, yet very healthy and nutrient dense, focusing on nutrient density meals at the moment. So yeah, make sure you check out her video. I will leave it down below in the description. We're also doing a very interesting and pretty extreme experiment on ourselves at the moment, which will be revealed to you guys soon. Uh, that's all I'm gonna say for now, but look at us, first class vegans. If you're gonna do an experiment, don't do it on animals, do it on yourself. Bitch. With the dog pound right behind me and up in your bitch is where you might find me. I feel like I had a lot to say right now, but I, I'm i just thinking of this, so I need to go slurp. So I'll see you at lunch. <clears throat> Cheers. <laughs> Alright, so for lunch I'm roasting up some cauliflower steaks, which I've never made before. Uh, I love cauliflower, roasted, raw, whatever. And yeah, instead of using oil like most people do, I mean, not that I'm afraid of oil, but I'm roasting them in tahini because 
what else would you expect of me at this point? And of course, a huge green nutrient dense salad with lots of avocado action going on alongside, so. All right, so we've got a bit of a tahini dunking station going on. <laughs> Look at that. A little bit of lemon juice, pepper. Make sure every little bit is tahini and lemon covered. Okay, just a little bit of Parsley. Okay, a lot of it. I mean, look at that little colourful salad on my phone. All right, so obviously a salad is not a salad without avocado, in my opinion. Actually, that's not my opinion. That is a fact, a scientific fact. So yeah, I've got a couple of small ones, and the proper squishy and ripe, and they're both going in. It's better be a good one. I always pick good ones. What am I talking about? Nice big handful of crunchy walnuts. Little bit more of golden star. Because, I mean, I don't know why at this point, but. All right, so here are my cauliflower steaks. They are crisp on the outside and soft within. Okay, so my cauliflower steaks, my tahini coated cauliflower steaks have turned out an epic success because the tahini has kind of like almost caramelized on the outside and give it a nice, give it, it's given it like a nice crust, a nice crunchy crust. And it also tastes like nooch. I don't know if anyone else has roasted with tahini before, but it actually tastes a bit cheesy, which is pretty amazing because we all know cauliflower cheese is the best combo ever. All it needs right now is a little bit more pepper and a little bit more salt. A little bit of fresh lemon juice as well. Does not really get much better than this. And more than happily, apply to face. Mm, so good. Anyways, you better all try roasting your cauliflower or other veggies in tahini. Obviously, this salad is pretty high, well, pretty high, very high in fat, but that's a good thing, right? Because all of the fats I've added are gonna go towards essential bodily functions, avocado, high in vitamin E, monounsaturated fats, potassium. It's gonna moisturize your skin from the inside out. I always say avocado is the best internal and external moisturizer, and it really is true. Same with the walnuts, full of omega-3s, so good for your joints, your bones, your cognitive function and your skin. I mean, I could sit here and talk about the health benefits of avocados and walnuts for the next five weeks and I still wouldn't be finished, so I'm not even gonna start. But all you need to know is that this is delicious. You eat a salad like this every day, your body will thank you. That's it. A meal like this that's full of healthy fats lots of fiber and some protein as well, is gonna keep you full up for a long time. So whenever I eat a big meal like this, it really does satiate me for four, five, six, seven hours before I even feel like a little bit of hunger. And it's now like three or 4 p.m. So yeah, so I don't know, maybe I'll be back to make dinner at like midnight. I'll see you then. Mm. Don't think I've ever been this excited to try some nuts before. Let's do it. If you only knew how hard it's been, the strength it's taken to not open these two until this moment, considering I've had them for two weeks, been dying to show you them. Yeah, anyways, I've got two of the new My Protein peanut butters. They also have rice protein in them. One of them is flavored with 
toffee apple, which I'm incredibly excited about, but I'm even more excited about this one because it's rice protein, peanut butter, and salted motherfucking caramel. What the fuck? You guys know I keep it 100% legit with you. I'm not being paid to tell you that these are good. Trust me, I'm gonna give you an honest review. Do you know what? I think, well, I kind of know I'm gonna like the salted caramel one more. So let's start with the toffee apple, which to be honest, um, I'm not sure how I feel about toffee apple peanut butter, but, oh, that smell. It smells exactly like toffee apple. Okay, you know what, I'm liking the texture. It's nice and not too thick, not too runny, and, and it's crunchy. All right, considering this is, I mean, I haven't tasted it yet, but I know this is gonna be a very sweet one just by the smell. Uh, I'm not sure if I should go in with celery. Okay, well it's just tradition that I go in with some celery, so here we go. Oh my God, <laughs> oh my God, unbelievable. Honestly, honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit skeptical of toffee apple flavored peanut butter, but let me tell you, this one is a clear 10 out of 10. At the moment, I'm not really into sweet nut butters. I'm more about the kind of just plain salty ones, but oh my gosh. This would be amazing on porridge. Yeah, definite 10 out of 10, 100% would recommend. All right, onto the salted caramel. I'm just gonna churn this with a knife, by the way. Um, ugh. I mean, salted caramel is usually my favorite flavor for pretty much everything. But uh, I don't actually, at this moment, before I've tasted it, believe that it can be better than that toffee apple one. I mean, you guys have seen me taste hundreds, well not hundreds, but probably about 50 nut butters on this channel so far. That one is actually number one. Gonna say it. Oh, again, the smell of that, you can smell the caramel. Here we go. I'm actually lost the words. <laughs> this one is even better than the toffee apple. Don't get me wrong, they're both 10 out of 10. But this salted caramel one, pff, I can't even rate it, it's that good. It's absolutely fucking amazing. The flavor is incredible. And do you know what I love about these two? Because I know you're probably thinking, okay, they're sweet. They're probably sweetened with, you know, some kind of crap. They're not, they are both sweetened with xylitol, which I've all told you before is a healthy sweetener as long as it's not consumed in large amounts and there's only a small amount. Of course, your boy has hooked you up. I was not about to just show you these and tease you and tempt you with them. I've got you a huge discount code. If you wanna order either of these or both of these, I will leave it in the description box down below. You can thank me later. Ooh. All right, so for dinner, I'm gonna make a coconut. I was gonna say curry, it's not really a curry. I don't know what to call it. It's just basically lots of greens, lots of nutrient dense veggies. Um, cooked in coconut milk and also some tofu to bump up the protein. Again, high in nutrients, high in protein, high in flavor, which is the most important thing. And yeah, don't be alarmed, I am gonna put two cans of coconut milk in, but this makes a large batch, so I'm not gonna eat it all in one go before the fat police come after me, okay? Green beans, some broccoli, got some sun-dried tomatoes, got some mushrooms, essential in any coconut curry mix. Yep, also got a leek, so as you can see, plenty of more green action here. And the spices, as always, cinnamon, turmeric, and garlic. You can, of course, use fresh garlic. I'm just lazy. Yeah, so to be honest, I'm really not that hungry at all because I'm still very full up from that lunch. Like I always say, when you mix together a lot of greens, proteins, and healthy fats, it just keeps you full up and satisfied for just hours and hours and fully energized as well. Uh, but I know I'm gonna want some of this tomorrow and probably later, so I'm gonna cook it now. I'm definitely hungry enough for a small bowl of this right now anyway, so let's get cooking.
All right, so for my last meal of the day, I'm just having a small bowl of that curry mix you just saw me make. The flavors are incredible. It's very aromatic. I just love coconut milk and cinnamon together. Don't really know what else to say about this. I mean, it doesn't look that great, but you're gonna have to trust me, it's absolutely delicious. And actually, this is the kind of thing that you can make a big batch like I did and just keep it in the fridge to reheat it. And actually, the flavors are better the next day because everything just kind of, you know, like just, I don't know, <laughs> I don't even know the word I want. Just like the flavors mingle um, and you can just warm it up as and when you need. I could literally just drink this coconut sauce as a, as a beverage. All right guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, two things, or maybe three things before I go. First thing, don't forget to order yourself some salted caramel or toffee apple peanut butter, link down below. Also, Amanda's link is down below. Go and watch her video and show her some love. Third thing is, I guess, look forward to this little experiment that we will be sharing with you uh, very soon. And then maybe this day of eating might make a bit more sense to you. Uh, yeah, apart from that, I'm sending you all so much love. Subscribe, become a member of my amazing crazy crew, and I love you all. So, take that.